All right, everybody, welcome back. I want to take this chance. I started cutting up this watermelon out here, and then uh, said, hey, this would be a good time to actually review this variety. Um, this year, we've grown three types of watermelons, uh, the Sangria, Georgia Rattlesnake, and the Golden Golds. Uh, they're all good watermelons. Um, I don't have any real com big complaints about any of them. Um, but by far, my favorite is going to be the Sangria out of those three. Um, it's actually just got a great watermelon flavor and it's and it's just a, got a great sweetness to it. The rattlesnake, um, it was good. Uh, it just wasn't quite as sweet uh, as I like it um, to be. But the gold and gold, now they were very sweet. Uh, they were almost a little too sweet. Um, and, and they had a little bit different flavor profile to me. It was almost kind of like a, maybe a little bit of a nectar flavor to it. But the gold and gold was a little a little too sweet uh, for me. I had a friend who thought it was um, one of the one of the best watermelon tastes. So you never know. It just depends on the taste profile. But as you can see here, this um, sangria is just a, a good watermelon here. Um, it, it, it's just very good flavor to it. Um, I have no complaints about it. Definitely a good sweet watermelon. Uh, if you're interested in trying it, I would definitely give it a try. Also, one more thing I'd like to mention uh, as far as a uh, how this watermelon produces and grows. Um, the Georgia rattlesnake vines, they took off just a little bit quicker probably than these did, but once they got going, uh, these seemed to catch up and do just as just as good. Um, I have no complaints about them as um, far as them, and the amount they produce per vine. It seemed fine to me, so if that's something else you're thinking about, that being said, they, they look like to produce the same as the other ones I've grown this year, and no problem as far as that goes. Now, thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. And if you were thinking about the sangria, hopefully it helped you out a little bit on making a decision whether or not to give it a try. Um, you know, I would have to also say that I have had the crimson sweets in the past, and I do like the crimson sweets a lot. Uh, so that's one of the closer watermelons, I guess, out of uh, some of them that I've had that it would be compared to. But it's very good watermelon. Uh, if you like this, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much. You have a good evening.